Let me open my comments on the Space Force by expressing my admiration for our U.S. Air Force. Because of our airmen and Secretary Wilson's leadership in particular, we are the best in space. This proposal is about maintaining the margin of dominance they have given us and accelerating the capabilities we need in this increasingly competitive domain. Establishing the Space Force within the Air Force lets us do just that. Both China and Russia have weaponized space with the intent to hold American capabilities at risk. Every member of this committee has access to the classified threat picture, but the bottom line is the next major conflict may be won or lost in space. At the same time, an explosion in commercial space innovation is adding thousands of satellites and a new range of capabilities, unlocking a trillion dollars in economic opportunity. There is widespread agreement the status quo is not sufficient. Change is required to stay ahead. Approached correctly, this is an opportunity for a generational improvement. Future space capabilities should be system engineered from the start to include launch, commercial innovation, the network, the satellite, the ground segment, user equipment, and cybersecurity. Our military is organized around physical domains. Army on land, Navy on sea, Air Force in the air. Given the significant change confronting us, we now need a military service dedicated to space. Instead of coordinating across more than 10 organizations, we will consolidate and concentrate into the Space Force so that we have clear lines of accountability and responsibility.